So how do you get the most out of your iPhone 11 when it comes to video? How do you shoot super smooth handheld footage and create professional looking videos all with something that fits in your pocket? Well today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how. It's coming up. Hey everyone, Steve here from Learn Online Video and today we're talking all about the iPhone 11 and what it's capable of when it comes to handheld video. That's all I'm judging the phone on today is its ability to shoot video. And this is the iPhone 11, by the way. It comes with two lenses, the standard and the wide. The iPhone 11 Pro has three lenses, wide, standard, and telephoto. Now, I recently tested this phone out whilst I was in New York, and I was absolutely blown away by what it is capable of when it comes to mobile filmmaking. All of the footage you can see here has been shot completely handheld, and in this video I'm going to share with you a few tips so that you can shoot footage just like this. Now, there are three things that I love about this phone, and those three things are essentially what help take your mobile filmmaking to the next level. Number one, the wide angle lens. This is a complete game changer when it comes to capturing cinematic looking footage. Up until now, the lens on an iPhone has always been a standard lens. And it's always been a little bit too zoomed in. It's always difficult to capture a good shot of a room, for example, never wide enough. But not anymore. This phone's wide angle lens is a 13 millimeter equivalent. So it's nice and wide and really easy to shoot tight spaces and can definitely help give your footage a much more cinematic look. Number two, image stabilization. Now, as well as a wide angle lens, this phone also has 4K cinematic video stabilization, which basically means software will take away all the shake in your footage and it does an incredible job. Never has it been easier to shoot smooth handheld footage. Footage that looks like it's been shot on a gimbal. All of the footage you can see here has been shot completely handheld. And as you can see, it's incredibly smooth. Now there are definitely things that you can do to help ensure that you get the smoothest shots possible. For example, always hold your phone with two hands and walk heel toe, heel toe, just like what you would if you were using a gimbal, knees slightly bent, and always keep your movement consistent and intentional. Also, don't feel like you always need to face your camera forwards. Try looking up and tilting down whilst walking forwards. This movement is a great way to establish a location and creates a much more dynamic shot. Here's one I shot out of the window of my Uber as I was traveling between locations. And because this is a phone and not some big bulky camera setup, you're able to get it into places you wouldn't normally. And as a result, means you're able to get much more creative with your angles and movements. Take this shot of the Empire State Building, for example. For this, I got low to the ground, pointed my camera up, and used the plant pot as foreground. Or this shot here where I pushed the camera through a gap in the rail of the Brooklyn Bridge. Number three, battery life. I'm so used to my phone running out of battery halfway through a shoot, but that's just not the case with this phone. A full charge easily lasted me a day, and that was with shooting video as well as posting Instagram stories and making phone calls. I love the battery in this phone. Huge improvement and saves me needing to consistently charge. Now, when you combine your wide angle lens, your image stabilization and your long battery life, along with the ability to shoot 4K 60 frames per second, as well as many other frame rates, including super slow motion, mobile filmmaking is better and easier than it ever has been before. A few other things worth mentioning. Now, as much as I love this phone and its video capabilities, I think it's also important to talk about some of the downsides because there are a few and there's always room for improvement. By far, my biggest bugbear with this phone and every phone for that matter when it comes to mobile filmmaking is its inability to shoot at a shallow depth of field. To be able to get that beautiful blurry background look to your videos, that soft focus look that can really help give your footage that premium feel. So it's just a shame that we're not able to do that yet using video on our phone. We can do that with photos, just hit the portrait button and you'll be able to take shots that give you that blurry background look, but not with video. Okay, my last piece of constructive criticism, not complaining. 
constructive is that as great as the 24 frames per second option is for shooting super slow motion, I noticed a definite drop in video resolution when shooting at this frame rate. Some shots were better than others. These shots I took whilst in the back of a taxi came out unusable, whereas this shot of a busy New York street and a pile of garbage I thought came out much better in terms of video resolution. So great frame rate could be better. I hope that this video has helped you learn a bit more about shooting handheld. If you'd like to see more videos just like this, then let me know in the comments section below. But that's it from me. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.